Hi, it's Cheryl with Caribou Country Lifestyle. So it's a hot day out here today. We're almost at 30 degrees Celsius and I'm out here in the garden and I'm just installing some protection for my cabbage plants, cauliflower, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. So I'm just putting some mesh netting over top of the plants and I have some frames set up. I've got my mesh set up as well for the most of them. I've already done three beds and I'm just going to show you what I've done so far. Sorry, these are my cabbage plants here underneath these plastic clutches. So I'm just taking the clutches off. And there's my little cabbage plant and then I'm just putting the clutches away for now. I will use these clutches for some other plants that I have. I'm just going to remove this. And one more. And then as you can see, I've put this white, it's just a plastic coating, coated fence. And I've got it all the way across this bed. This bed here, that is my cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. And then I did this bed in behind here and this is cabbage and more cauliflower. It's my cheddar cauliflower and my cabbage. And then what I've done is I've taken a little clip here and just clipped that netting down so that the cabbage moths can't get in here to lay their eggs. So, so I'm just taking, this is some more of that same fencing because I need a piece for in behind this bed here. So I have a pair of pliers and I'm just separating this and it's not, I'm just bending it open. It doesn't matter because this is, like I say, it's just old fencing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up in behind this bed. And I'll slide it in behind. I get it lined up and I'm just going to push it into the dirt so that it's stable on both sides. Okay, and then here's my netting. I have a roll here and there's still quite a bit on this panel here. I'm just going to roll this out. Make sure I have lots on this side and I'll roll it across. And I want quite a bit of an overhang over here. So that should be lots. And then I'm going to, got a pair of scissors. And I'll just cut this. Okay. Next, I am going to just quickly water these plants before I stick this on. I 
have some water already in, the wa in this watering can. I'll give them a pretty good drink of water. I think it was pretty hot. Yesterday we weren't here. We actually went golfing through my husband's work and we were gone all day and overnight last yesterday and it was probably about 25 degrees Celsius yesterday and we were golfing. So I had those plastic clutches over top of these plants too hot for these plants because uh, some of them are looking a little peaked so this is a good thing that I'm getting this done now so we'll pull this uh, cloth back over here and I want to make sure that it's got enough in the back so that the moths can't get in in the back get in on the sides or on the front. The problem is if those cabbage moths come in here, what they end up doing is they lay their eggs on the plants and then you have all kinds of cutworms in your plants and they just put do so much damage to your plants that it's not even funny and then i have just some little some clips and i'm just going to clip the fabric down to the plastic little fencing my also my husband also gave me these little uh, clamps here and uh, I'm putting those on the corners of the bed. Just for some added protection. And that's why I watered these in advance. So, I mean, I'm still going to have to lift up the netting when I water these. And I'll just lift it up in the front and then that will be totally fine. I just want to make sure I don't have any gaps open. I'm going to put one there just because. Okay. Next, um, I think I'm going to plant my peppers next. And I think I'm going to use these plastic clutches for my peppers. And... Uh, then once my tomatoes have been well enough established, then I'll use the cozy coats and I'll put those around my peppers. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna use these plastic clutches to plant my peppers. Let's do that. So it's a few days later, I um, ended up having to, this whole cloth that I had put over this fence, um, I seem to be having some pest issues with it and it's not the pest bug issues that I'm having with it. It's the pest my cat issues that I'm having with it. So since I have put these cloth to keep the cabbage moths out, it seems that my cat thinks that I have built it a hammock and it's laying on top of the cloth and it's ripping the cloth or it's trying, once it rips the cloth and there's a hole in it, then it's trying to crawl through the hole and lay on top of my plants. It likes to hide. And so it thinks that it's able to camouflage underneath this cloth. And I am just like, 
Are you kidding me? So I have taped it with packing tape, the holes that my cat has caused in these covers. And now I am going to try and find something to lay across the top so that my cats can't lay on the cloth and break through it. I'm just gonna show you the some of the damage that they've done to my cloth. And if I keep replacing the cloth, they're just going to keep doing it. So I just have to find other ways of working around what they're doing. So I'm going to show you. So here, as you can see, I've had to tape. This all has been ripped and right there has been ripped. I have more plastic in behind here. There's a rip. There's a tear right in the front over here. It's funny because this bed over here, he hasn't done anything with it. And I just don't understand what the difference is as to doing, you know, damaging or laying on the cloth over here he's really only done it to the two this one here and that's where my broccoli is and then this one as well he's laid on top of here i've had to tape that i've even gone to the point where i'm putting in bamboo uh, skewers or bamboo pieces to help stake up uh, plants in hopes to hold that down. I've even put metal inserts underneath here so that it's not comfortable to lay on. Like, it's just bizarre what my cat is doing. Oh, here's another one actually. He tore this one, but oh, and see, there's a hole there. I'm going to have to put tape on that too. It's just ridiculous. So I'm going to try and find some boards that I can lay across the top from one end to the other and see if that helps. Okay, so I put some of those bamboo stakes underneath the white cloth to kind of make it like a teepee it so it doesn't look as inviting to lay on. Kind of hard to climb on that. And then I did the same to this one, put three bamboo stakes in there. And the one in the back, I put two bamboo stakes in there. And that one over there, I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. I probably should get some more bamboo stakes. Maybe I will. Anyways, I hope I have this figured out. I, nothing is a, a guarantee, but hey, you gotta keep trying and hopefully this works. Anyways, thanks for joining me, Cheryl with Caribou Country Lifestyle. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, you might wanna subscribe, maybe throw a like in there too. Anyways, have a great rest of your day and we'll talk again. Bye for now.